You know, the lack of rain is fueling fires in both Northern and Southern California. 29 people are now confirmed dead in the so-called Camp Fire just north of Sacramento. And in Southern California, two new blazes ignited today. Natasha Brown is in the CBS Sat Center with more on the fires, which are proving to be especially difficult to fight. Natasha? Absolutely, Yuki and Jessica. Fire officials say it is not just a lack of rain at this point. High winds and dry brush are also making the battle even more difficult. And there's no help from the weather in sight. Crews are fighting the Woolsey fire from the air. Right now, data shows that we're at 91,572 acres in this incident, and we have 20% containment. More than 8,000 firefighters are battling wildfires statewide. The Camp Fire north of Sacramento is the most destructive fire in state history. More than 6,000 homes and structures are scorched, and thousands more are threatened. We have a real challenge here, uh, threatening our whole way of life. Raging flames virtually destroyed the entire town of Paradise. Nurse Daryl Wilkins fled the ferocious fire with three patients, two critically ill in his car. The window is so hot, I can't even touch the window right now. Wilkins says hospital staff members knew the patients had to be saved. We have not just an obligation to our patients, but we have an obligation to humanity. I mean, we have to do our jobs regardless of the adverse conditions. The Woolsey fire hit this neighborhood in Calabasas over the weekend. At least a half a dozen homes are burned to the ground. Neighbors came together to console each other just hours after all was lost. It's just hard to process. It's hard to process and it's just, you know, it's just massive loss in such a short amount of time. Squeeze your loved ones tonight because in a moment's notice things can change. Well, right now, 10 search teams are working in paradise to look for the missing. That is the very latest for now. Live in the SAT Center, Natasha Brown, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Wow. Okay, Natasha, thank you.